Okay, so you're like me, right? You just got into dental hygiene school and you're wondering like, how much does it really cost for my first semester? Okay, right, cool. I got you. We're gonna start off small with the tuition, fees, and books. The three classes that I'm taking this semester are a total of 10 credits. The three courses that I'm taking this semester are $211.83 per credit. And with all the fees, those three credits come out to $2,443. And I have to be honest, right? No matter what you kind of like did before, I know me personally, when I was an undergrad, the first job, I would like, you know, get check or even, or even taking my prereqs, honestly. I would use Chegg and rent books. Um, I never really like just went to the library and looked at the book, even though <laughs> all the professors will, professors will like tell you that that's an option. I don't really know how that works. I think there's one book, but there's like 20 something. So anyway, I really, I would sometimes rent books, but this time I'm just gonna buy them all. We were already warned that some of the books we buy in this first semester are going to be used in further on semester. So rather than trying to kind of like figure out oh, which ones should I rent and what day do I have to rent it for it to get here? I'm just gonna buy all the books for a total of about $525. Now, as of when I'm filming this, even though I'm less than 30 days out to the program, they're not available to purchase. So I don't really know how much they are. They could be less, could be more. But I think that's sort of the figure. Now with dental hygiene school, since this is a program where we're like learning a skill, it requires tools, right? It requires instruments to learn that skill. And our Typodont is the first one of those kind of like tools and that's $200. And the instrument kit <laughs> is $1,500. I don't know why I'm laughing because it's, abs <laughs> it's absolutely not funny, but uh, yeah, it's $1,500 for the instruments, okay? There's also a third instrument that I've really never heard any of the dental hygiene girlies and guys on YouTube talk about called a handpiece. Um, I don't really know what that is, but it costs $475. Yeah, it sure does, it sure does. Now, it's important that I mention that everything that I've just gone over, those items are due the first week of school. So yeah, the first week, you definitely gonna be coming in and emptying those pockets. So the last thing we have to buy for the first week of school is PPE, which is our face mask, gloves, and overgarments for $500. To be fair, that is a one-year supply for PPE, but is it just me or does that sound like an outdated price list? That sounds like peak 2020 pricing. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, can we get the list for 2023? Because if we're paying $500 for one year of gloves, face masks, and overgarments in 2023, what were y'all paying in 2020? What was it like 750, 800? Like, look all, look, all I'll say is I can't wait to get on campus and see what $500 worth of PPE looks like. Stay tuned because that's definitely gonna be in a vlog. Like we gotta see this $500 PPE, we got it. Our school also requires that we buy loops, which are kind of like the glasses that your hygienist wears that allows them to keep correct ergonomics during the appointment. So it kind of like saves their body, our body costs $1,500 to $1,600. So if you're keeping track, that is the third item that we have that's over $1,500 and we are not done. So now let's talk about the stuff that we had to have done before that first day, pretty much in the summer. We had to have an eye exam, physical, blood work, immunizations and BLS CPR certification. Now I get an eye exam every year, so this wasn't really an extra cause with insurance my eye exam cost $36. When it comes to the visits for the physical, my blood work and my immunizations, those were also all covered by insurance so I had nothing out of pocket there. And the BLS CPR course that I took cost $225. But wait, 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 wait. You can take that for way cheaper. You can go through the American Heart Association or the American Red Cross, and you can get your certification in about one day and pay about $80. I chose to take a class at the same school that I'm going to for my degree because my employer pays for my tuition. So I didn't pay anything out of pocket for the CPR class. I would prefer for my employer to pay $225 than for me to pay $80. Maybe that doesn't make sense to you, but for me, nothing has really ever made more sense ever. Another small expense that we had in the summer was paying for our 
fingerprinting and photo for the Minnesota Department of Human Services. This ensured that we, it's like a background study, I guess, it's like assured we're not like total weirdos. I, I don't really know what they were looking for. I'm like sure they're not gonna find anything <laughs> on my record that like, you know, would disqualify me for the program, but I really, to be honest, do not know what they're looking for. So our program is super duper flexible and they allow us to wear any type of scrubs we want as long as they are solid colors. So no prints, which um, child, I'm, I think that's a good idea. Let me just say that. I agree with making no print be the, the rule because I've seen some scrubs that are prints that I don't like. And in addition to any color, that's any brand. So I love that because honestly, if we really think about what's important, is it important that we all have the same color scrubs? It's not. It's important that we all have the same brand scrubs. It's not, like it's really not important. Listen, like I said in my last video, I wore a uniform for most of my schooling. Like I'm happy that while it's a scrub uniform, it's like we get that flexibility. I'm just stoked. We have two days on campus this semester. So because of that, we need two sets of scrubs. I was able to find both tops and bottom for about 20 bucks a piece on Amazon and local stores. If you have a uniform advantage in your area, that's where I got a couple of my scrubs. They didn't have what I wanted in store, but I was able to kind of like look at what I wanted online and they sent it to the store for free. So I don't know if that helps you out because I'm so like, I'm not trying to pay for shipping any, especially if it doesn't fit and then I had to like exchange it, like no way. So they shipped it to the store for free. Now we did have one specific uniform item and that is the lab coat that we have to wear. It's a specific brand, specific style number and that is $43. When it comes to shoes, they must be able to be wiped clean, they can't be mesh or have any holes and they must cover the heel. So that right away, your run of the mill tennis shoe with like mesh, not gonna work. Your Crocs with all those holes, like traditional Crocs, not gonna work. Both the heel and the shoe is a big problem. Our instructor mentioned a brand of shoes called Clove and they are pretty cute looking. I went online, they're about $140, but she also said we have to leave our clinic shoes at school. I don't know about y'all, but if I buy something that costs $130, $140, sometimes I might just want to look at it because it costs $140, okay? But if it's at school, I can't look at it whenever I want to. So it really won't sit right with my spirit to pay $140 and then see my shoes twice. No, 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 I can't spend $140 and, and see my shoes twice a week. So I went on Amazon, found some options in the $40 to $60 range, and that's what I chose. We have some on the way now. And I'll tell you straight up, the shoes are not cute. Listen, they're not, I'm not gonna be winning no fashion girly awards. Like this is not gonna be the, the fit, the outfit of the day. Not including the shoes, it won't because they're not like that. But I'm not going to school to earn a date. I'm going to earn a degree. So I don't really care what my shoes look like, okay? I want my shoes to be comfortable and I want them to be compliant because I don't wanna hear nothing about the shoes being, you know, incorrect. Let me know in the comments if you want me to like do a little small or short video on like kind of the uniforms and stuff I got. I didn't plan on doing anything like that, but if it's something that you wanna see, I'm happy to do it. Let me know in the comments. Another item that we're required to have is safety lenses. And because your girl is a proud member of the Four Eyes Club and I don't wear contacts, I went on to Zinni and decided to just buy prescription safety glasses, which are about $42. We were given some options to get like side shields that go on your glasses you can buy from Amazon or to buy safety glasses from one of the vendors that's gonna come and sell us, I don't know, something that costs a freaking band. But I was like, so I can have glasses on top of glasses? Are you kidding me? No. Okay, confession time, confession time. I'm the type of girl who does not like to do my hair. So when I heard that we can wear scrub caps on campus, oh boy, when I tell you I ran to Etsy, okay? For the second year, scrub caps are required, but for the first year, they're optional and uh, I'm gonna take that option. We kind of have some flexibility with the scrub caps. They can either be a solid color or a clinic appropriate print. So I went on Etsy and I found this amazing seller. She has tons of pre-made stuff in her shop. And then I also was able to place a custom order she ordered the specific fabrics that I wanted. They're like little dental fabrics. And she made me two custom caps. The caps are satin lined. They're the specific 
size for whatever hair situation you got going on, whether it's like a buzz cut or like butt length locks, like she can make a custom cap to do anything. But listen, this is not an ad for her. Those are about $20 a piece and I bought three of those. So, and the last couple things that we need before we start are an ADHA student membership, which is $65 and a padlock. And I found this padlock on Amazon for about $7. And that brings the total for the first semester of dental hygiene school. One semester of dental hygiene school. A nice round $7,750. Good Lord. Now, okay, I don't know what time it is, but I think I got to go to work. I got to go earn some money. So if you have any comments, leave them down below, questions, or watch my video from last week about, you know, college as an adult, why I decided to do this whole thing or come back next week. I'll tell you more about how I got in and tips to get in dental hygiene school. And anyway, I'll see you there. Bye.